Joey, what was it like not to have time off during an All-Star break? Oh, I love it, you know. <laughs> I love not being able to rest up at all and just not getting a break from baseball. It's always fun. What was the reaction when you got back here with your boys after they saw the home run? Um, yeah, they were pretty excited. A lot of them texted me. A lot of them texted me. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, a lot of them were pretty mad that I didn't get a truck, but. Were you mad you didn't get a truck? No, of course not. Do you have a truck? I don't have a truck. Do you want a truck? I would have liked a free truck. That would have <laughs> been uh, that would have been pretty cool. So you're about to go in the cage, and you're going to tell me that Joey Gallo is going to actually bunt. When, when have you? When was the last time you bunted? Literally last game we played, bunted for a hit. Like probably my. When was that? Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, this Sunday I bunted for a hit. Thanks for keeping up. Yeah, I must have missed that. Yeah, you're you're busy watching the Yankee game, I'm sure. I was busy consumed with watching you in the uh, All Star game. No. If, if you I'm had not bunted in that. the All Star game, then I would have been interested. Oh, I almost did. They shifted me in the All Star game. I was like, should I bunt right here? <laughs> I figured that would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad I didn't. Had you ever seen Will Smith before in a game? I think I did. I think I did in spring training one time. Man, he's nasty. I mean, I just. I just closed my eyes and swung and happened to hit it hard. That's all I had to do there. I got to look at the video. See, your eyes were closed when you hit the ball out of the Yeah, ball. Uh, nine times out of ten, my eyes are closed when I'm swinging. <laughs> you it's, can't tell by my numbers. Truth is, your eyes have gotten a lot better, or at least you've made a concerted effort to uh, shrink the strike zone. Is that right? Is that what we attribute the uh, more success to, or is there something else? Yeah, I mean, just learning the game a little bit, and uh, my eyes Maybe they're a little better. I'm not sure. I've always had pretty good eyes, but that's a hit. That's good form right there. Now, did Harper oh. teach you that when you were a kid? Bunting? Yeah. Did we see a big bunter? No. I don't think. I don't think we bunted ever once. I think a lot of people know. So you you were coached by Chris Bryant's dad, and you played with Bryce growing up. We we never got a chance to see them when they were that age. What were they like? Chris and Bryce? Yeah. They were, well, Bryce was like a man child. He looked like he was 16 playing on, with 10 year olds. So usually what would happen would be, they would walk Bryce and pitch to me and I was just a small kid back then. Then I would come up, uh, hit a home run or something. <laughs> and then they'd have to pitch to Bryce. So I was Bryce's protection when we were eight years old. Seriously, um, you were never a small guy, right? Well, I mean, compared to Bryce, I was small. He was nine, bigger nine, than nine. you at that age. He was huge. Really? He was huge. He was, uh, like I said, he, he literally looked like he was a high schooler playing against 10-year-olds. And he always had the hype, too. Like, when we played um, tournaments in Colorado, Arizona, it didn't matter where we were. Everyone knew who Bryce was at that age. And uh, Chris was a little more um, diamond in the rough, where he was always a great player, but he didn't have that Bryce Harper build. So he didn't really look like he was like a man child like Bryce was. Right. Um, but Chris hit some absolute bombs. When did you have your growth spurt? Probably right before my freshman year. I jumped up to like 6'3". So I was like a, I was like a short, kind of chubby kid. And then going into high school, I was like 6'3", and I looked like a stick figure. So Bryce? got the attention since he was about five and then Bryant got a lot of attention. Are you finding that you're getting a little more attention now and what's that like? Yeah, I mean, I'm mic'd up on ESPN, so that's, there I guess go. that's good. Um, yeah, I think I'm starting to get a little more attention. I kind of like being under the radar. I'm not a big attention guy. That's that's part of the reason I really enjoy playing in Texas is, you, you know, okay, we don't have to work. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. I'm practicing <laughs> an interview just in case I got to. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, well, I'm hitting and doing an interview that's at the like same time. Right there, bro. That's just all it's about. Well, that's, that's all it's you're about. Also, bro. Come on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm starting to get a little more attention. But I always liked being like letting Chris and Bryce get the, the attention from Vegas. Like it was, they deserved it, honestly. And uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big. Am I up? You're up? <laughs> but yeah, I like to be a little low key. 
that's what's that's what I like playing about Texas too. All right. So Vlad Guerrero does the Derby. You're watching the Derby. We want you in the Derby. Most people want you in the Derby. But Guerrero apparently said when he was asked, you know, at what stage during your batting practice rounds do you start trying to hit home runs? And he kind of chuckled and he said, every round I'm trying <laughs> to hit home runs. Love that answer. Um, first off, but uh, yeah, I, I, I changed my BPs a little bit. Um, I figured I might as well start working on stuff in BP instead of trying to hit this roof every every pitch. Um, so I think that's helped me a little bit as well. But um, yeah, I think a home run derby would be fun. Yeah, but now you're I don't really do work on hitting year. home runs anymore, honestly. Because it comes naturally. Yeah, it comes naturally, and I mean MLB, these guys are too good. Like, you, you really have to actually work on your craft every day. Right. And for me, it's just you know staying through the middle of the field as best as I can. Um, I'm not really trying to. Put, a, put on a show anymore in BP. I mean, everyone knows I have power, you know, uh, so it's, I'm not I'm saying good, that. I'm good with the show. Like, there's that scoreboard up there above yeah, the Globe well, Life you're Park. Not, you're not paying my checks. I got to, the Rangers got to be, I need to. I had a conversation with John. He said, it's, he said, for this round, you can try to go deep every time. John Daniels? Yeah, JD said so. He said, fine. I'm going to need that confirmed from him. Hold on, let me get him. John, is it okay? Yeah. Yes, he said, it's fine. He's out here with me in left field. No Marmazara hit one 505 feet. Do you have to beat that at some point? I've already beat it. But Stackhouse isn't really liking me. For some there's a good one. Yeah, there's one. That's high up on the, uh, well, almost on the lawn. Wind's blowing it. Yeah, no, no more, no more Mazar. That did not go 505 feet. It did not. Confirmed from him. Confirmed right? by him. So you still have the longest. <laughs> I still have the longest. And and uh, Joey, if I were in charge and I said, Joey, will you commit Where to the Derby at? next year? Arizona? What would the answer be today? In the half? Yeah. If, if, if for next year? Yes. Huh. Yeah, next year. Next year it's in LA. That's pretty cool. Right. So you're, um, you're you would commit if I had some say in it. Yeah. All right. I mean, I want to do it. All right. Like it's not. I'm not against doing it. I want you in it. It's and just, I call yeah. them. I should have some awesome. say. Tashera and I should have some say. Yeah. No. I, I. If you want me to do it, then I'll do it just for you. I love you. All right, Joey. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.